Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 16th annual Capital Catwalk to benefit Dress for Success Hartford. I'm Kara Sundlin. I'll be your host tonight. And well, we would love to be with you in person. We are so grateful you are joining us live on Facebook and on our Channel 3 streaming app. Now, over the last 18 months, we have endured countless challenges, but I think a lot of us can agree in some ways we're better for it. Stronger, more resilient, wiser even after having to figure out how to overcome some of our challenges, even having to figure out all the technology like going on a virtual fundraiser. Well, this year's theme is Triumph Over Challenge. And tonight, you're going to hear incredible, uplifting stories. And instead of strutting their stuff on the stage for a good cause, our Channel 3 team will be showing you how they have learned a little bit more about the importance of self-care, haven't we all? And what they're doing that has helped them triumph over challenge. Stay tuned for those fun videos. You'll have an opportunity to bid on amazing auction items and offer support to women right here in Connecticut. They need our help right now. Dress for Success Hartford has now suited more than 8,000 women. That is a lot of triumph right here in Connecticut. And one amazing woman who really shows us how to triumph over challenge is Caroline Beltry. She is this year's special honoree and you're about to find out why. Listen to her incredible story. When I came here to Connecticut, I was completely broken. Caroline Beltry says Dress for Success Hartford helped her put her life back together after the hits just kept coming. I left an abusive relationship, but there were a lot of issues that were in place that led up to that. So I went through a lot of losses, meaning losing my mom, um, she battled Parkinson's. Then, 17 days later, I have to take my brother off life support on her birthday. Um, and that was it. beyond difficult. I didn't know what to do at that point. Um, I lost my job. Of 15 years, I was laid off. I was a billing and commissions payable manager, and I was laid off. My job was outsourced. I lost custody of my daughter. I became homeless. I was living out of my car. Uh, what did Dress for Success do for you? First and foremost, I felt seen. I felt heard. I felt supported through the programs, from the suiting program that allowed me to interview, to the employment readiness program that coached me on how to prepare for an interview, how to write a cover letter, how to write a resume. But it went deeper than that. It was a comprehensive program that allowed me to dig deep into myself and build the confidence that I had lost. Here at Dress for Success in downtown Hartford, Caroline is one of the more than 8,000 women DFS has helped with professional clothing and career coaching. During the pandemic, the agency had to get creative and go digital fast. Executive Director Sarah Avadipali has been leading this organization for 20 years. This is the year of resilience for Dress for Success Hartford. Our women and their families rely on our organization to provide employment readiness and employment retention programs, a true circle of support. That support transformed Caroline. I was also selected and approved for the 2019 Live Your Legacy Success Summit, where I embarked on a four-day women's empowerment cruise and met women from all over the world and came back to execute a community action project where I spoke about self-care after abuse. So there are so many programs within Dress for Success that have contributed to where I am today. Joanna Samanuk runs the programming for Dress for Success Hartford. Our programs uh, provide tools, they provide knowledge, uh, they provide a future for the client when they come on board and take advantage of our programs. Uh, we have you know, professional speakers that speak at our professional women's group meetings, our employment readiness programs that um, help the women gain skills, uh, accelerate their job search, and that's a four-week program, so it's a really great learning. Um, you know, we have our career management coaching program where we match that client with a coach 
that takes them on their journey and helps them achieve a desired goal. And those are typically four to five sessions. So we are definitely more than just a suit. During the pandemic, DFS couldn't accept donations from the public, but the beautiful store-like space is full of brand new suits and dresses from great companies like Talbot's. As this year's special honoree, Caroline has been pampered with a head-to-toe makeover. She's wearing a beautiful new dress from Talbot's, Blades International Salon styled her hair, and makeup by Maricelli helps her shine. Beautiful on the outside, but her inner confidence comes from what she's learned at one of the signature programs at Dress for Success. One of the programs that absolutely helped me and pushed me out of my comfort zone was actually the Employment Readiness Program. When I did the program, it's a four-week accelerated comprehensive program. And within that, I grew so much. I built confidence that set the tone for me to be able to go on to other things within the program. Mm -hmm. And it's incredible to me, but you're actually helping other women now who were in your place. Yes, and just letting them know that you can do it, that you must rise, and that the long and short of it is, you have to starve your fear and feed your faith. Talk about triumph over challenge, Caroline's journey has now come full circle and she's giving back. My new job is at the Women and Family Center in Meriden and I am a case manager for homeless and runaway youth. So this experience that you have survived mm -hmm. and triumphed over is actually really useful in what you do today. It is. I help the kids. I let them know that you've been through something, you can make it. You must persevere. You can persevere. You can stay focused. You can work on yourself and get yourself to where you want to be and make your dreams come true. People may not have a lot, but every little bit matters. Every little bit matters, no matter what it is. So we hope that folks will want to get involved, if not by donating, volunteering. We would love to have volunteers, and we are having many of them participate virtually as well. So they don't have to be in Connecticut. We have volunteers who have moved all over the country, and they still continue to give back and support our women here. Usually this time of year, 500 people would pack the Hartford stage to raise money for Dress for Success Hartford with the Capital Catwalk Fashion Show. Though we can't gather in person, donations are even more important as even more women need help. Only $150 can pay for a week of employment readiness programs for a woman. And when you lift up women, you help a whole community rise. You're thriving. I am. I am. And I am so excited. I'm so blessed and thankful for this organization and all they have done for me and believing in me and seeing that I need to believe in myself. Isn't Caroline incredible? Just send up some hearts right now in the comments or some kind words. I know that she is watching, so we want to acknowledge all she has done to triumph over challenge. And stay tuned because we have a special surprise coming up. So right now, we want to thank our amazing sponsors who are helping women like Caroline make everything that we've done for her possible. Walmart is our top sponsor tonight. Aspen and the Plus Chapter in Hartford are our Empire sponsors. And let's, you can see the rest of them there too. Also special thanks to the amazing restaurants who would normally be serving you food. They always donated at the Hartford stage, but we want to thank them for the years of support and ask you to consider supporting them. When you go out to eat, there's Max's, uh, Salute, Fleming's, Bar Taco, Effie's Place, Barcelona, uh, Mulberry Street, Capital Grill, Patty Cakes, and more. Thank you so much, uh, definitely, we want to appreciate and thank and support all those special local businesses who support great causes like Dress for Success. And also visit our website. That is HartfordDressForSuccess.org. That's where you can learn more. It's also where you can make a donation tonight to support Dress for Success Hartford. And we have a link to some amazing auction items. And that is right pinned to the top of this post. Uh, you can see it in the post. You can see it pinned to the top of the comments. So bid, bid, bid. There's some amazing items. I'm going to detail some of those coming up, but that's another great way to support Dress for Success tonight. So, <clears throat> excuse me, with tonight's theme being Triumph Over Challenge, <coughs> I get all excited and then I have a little something in my throat. Uh, we wanted to inspire you with some words of wisdom. So many of you know Mika Brzezinski was uh, here at Channel 3 
She's, of course, now the co-host <coughs> of Morning Joe on MSNBC and is also the author of the best-selling book, Know Your Value, and the whole series there. So tonight, Mika and her co-host for life, that is her husband, Joe Scarborough, are joining us to offer some support during these challenging times. Hi, everyone. It's Mika Brzezinski and <coughs> Joe Scarborough. It's really great to be here. Of course, you might remember me if you're really, really old uh, when I hosted Eyewitness News Daybreak with Kara's husband, Dennis House. Yes, that was when it was Channel 3 Eyewitness News Daybreak with Dennis House, Joe Fury, Mika Brzezinski. My God, remember the days? Well, it's great to be back. We're celebrating Dress for Success, which has done such an amazing job, of course, being supported by Kara and all of us at Channel 3. Um, getting through the pandemic and helping women find employment. It has been a very, very challenging time, Joe. So, so Mika, how, how do women triumph over all the challenges that, are, that they're facing in these really difficult times? Well, that's what this has been about, triumph over challenge. And it's a long slog, so, a slog, so pace yourself. Pace yourself through this. we still got a ways to go. Um, and I would suggest I'd give you some tangible know your value advice. Um, if you have a job and you're doing really well at it and you're valued, ask for what you need to keep it going. Don't try and hang by a thread and make it all work. If you need something tangible that is possible for them to give you to make it work, adjust your schedule, work on a weekend and accommodate your family. If you have a really good job and you're bringing value to the table, ask for what you need. They can't read your mind, especially on Zoom. Speaking of Zoom, if you're looking for a job, get your Zoom face on, understand Zoom, learn to speak in a box. Everyone's on television now. Get a light, um, you know, learn how to dress for that box and communicate effectively on Zoom so you have your best interviews ever. And mostly don't let up. Triumph over challenge is sometimes just sticking through the long haul, making it happen by being there every day and never, ever, ever giving up. So that's our advice. Triumph over challenge. I love it's it. nice to have you with us. It's good to be Thank with you, Kara, for having me good be a part Kara. of this. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much, Mika and Joe. And as always, Mika gave some great advice. You can also follow her at Know Your Value on Instagram. Uh, she's always helping women. So we so appreciate their support as well. And now we welcome Senator Richard Blumenthal, who's been a wonderful supporter of Dress for Sex Hartford, appearing on stage many times for the Capitol Catwalk. He is joining us virtually tonight. Hi, I'm Richard Blumenthal, your United States Senator. Really proud and excited to join you in celebrating the 16th catwalk and the 23rd year of Dress for Success. This event is about a good time, no question, people are going to have fun. But the catwalk is more than walking the walk, it really is strengthening women in their quest for good jobs, women who want the financial independence they deserve and need, and attire is an essential part of that quest. So the catwalk is about having a good time, but it's also about doing good. And I want to thank everyone, everyone who is with you tonight in spirit, as I am, as well as in person. We've come through a tough time, and it has been especially tough on women. We need to remember this support is about our families and communities, as well as about dress for women and dress for success. So thank you, everyone. My heart is with you, and I look forward to being with you maybe next year if we don't have votes, as we do tonight and hope that you will be there as well. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Blumenthal. He's always been such a wonderful supporter of Dress for Success Hartford. And as I mentioned, we have a fabulous silent auction going on right now. So you can bid on some amazing items. I'll show you some of what we have. Uh, this is just the beginning, but there's even more. But how about a trip to Newport? If you're thinking of traveling again, uh, there's a stay at the amazing Chandler Hotel on the famous Cliff Walk. So if you have a special occasion coming up, 
Conde Nast Travel and Travel and Leisure Magazine mentioned that this is one of the top views in the world. So you can go there, maybe for an anniversary or something special coming up. Buy it tonight to support Dress for Success and then treat yourself to something special in the future. Or tickets to a Patriots game. We've got those as well. You know, the holidays are coming up. My mother-in-law, Marilyn House, loves Vera Bradley bags. Uh, if she's on the feed, let me know if you like these. Uh, you can maybe get some lovely things tonight and get a little of your Christmas shopping done early. There's also a To Die For Tory Birch bag. Very nice. Or maybe you need some new sunglasses or eyeglasses. We have a gift card to Central Optica. Hi, Carl. Thank you so much uh, for donating this. These all make great holiday gifts. And of course, you're helping a great cause. Now, one silver lining of going virtual tonight is we can get social. So please continue to comment in this feed, share this with your followers, and also follow Dress for Success on Facebook and Twitter. So there you go, at Dress for Success Hartford. We're using the hashtag at Capital Catwalk. So share this in your feed right now. I love that I see you guys are commenting, saying hi, uh, congratulating Caroline, saying hi to Mika. Uh, keep doing that, you know, the, how the algorithms work. The more we comment, the more we share, we get this out to the world, and that helps Dress for Success help even more women. Tag someone who you really admire, maybe, who's helped you become successful. The pandemic has certainly impacted all of us, and now more than ever, women need help re-entering and staying in the workforce. Dress for Success knows how to help. We have proven programming that really helps lift up women and lead them to financial independence. So here's more on how the pandemic has impacted Dress for Success and the people we serve. Our world is enduring a pandemic unseen in centuries, and many people are suffering. But COVID-19 has disproportionately affected women in the workforce, from higher rates of job loss as compared to their male counterparts, in addition to doing double and triple duty at home, whether it's taking care of children or tending to elders. The impact of this global crisis on women is astounding. And that's why organizations like Dress for Success are so important. Absolutely, going places, going strong, and there's no doubt the past 18 months have been successful. One silver lining, though, maybe we're all learning how to take better care of ourselves. Self-care is really so important, especially for us women who often maybe put it to the bottom of the to-do list. But there are a lot of ways to do it. You can have a lot of fun doing it. We asked the folks here at Channel 3 to show us what they've been doing to beat the stress. So here's some ideas. From this to this. One of the ways I've been focusing on self-care is making that time on the yoga mat to grow my practice and also do a little bit of meditation. Namaste. Hey everybody, Scott Haney coming to you from my bedroom in Hartford uh, along with Dasher the cat right there. He is part of the reasons uh, why I, my stress levels get reduced um, on a daily basis. I come home and I give my cat a good massage and uh, he loves me and I love him and just being with him helps me to reduce any stress or anxiety that I might be feeling. Um, I think I do the same thing for him. So it's kind of a mutual agreement here. We, we just love each other. So uh, that's just uh, one of the reasons uh, that helps me, uh, uh, you know, combat any stress that I might be feeling during the day. I love superheroes. So I tend to either watch, because I can watch online, or I can pop in, yes, a DVD, or even better, I have a digital collection right here where I can read the comic book, yes. So I am a 100% geek and nerd, but I grew up with the Super Friends when I was a child, and I love watching Batman and reading Superman. I like Marvel too as well, more of a DC fan, but that's what I do to decompress. Working out is more than just about physical health. For me, it's that mind, body connection, and decompressing. And that's all part of my self-care. I've enjoyed making new recipes and also, in the meantime, perfecting old ones. 
When I'm stressed out and it feels like there's just so much going on, I've learned one of the best things I could do for myself is put my phone away, get outside, get some fresh air, open up a good book, and enjoy a nice snack. I'm sitting here with a blanket that my grandmother actually crocheted for me. This would have been about 30 years ago. She made us all, all of her grandkids, a blanket that to this day I still use and I love and it's in great condition. But she also taught me back then how to crochet and I used to sit with her while she did it. Well, I stopped doing it a long, long time ago, but this year I started to pick it back up just enough to remind myself what she taught me. I am determined to make something bigger than just a straight line. But I'm mastering this right now, I promise you that. It takes me back all those years ago when I used to sit there with her, which I love so much. But it's also good now because it's like a cleansing thing and it makes me calm at a time when maybe everything isn't so calm. So for me, this has been great. Give it a try. And if you have tips, pass them along. <laughs> And as they say, laughter is the best medicine. We have been doing a lot of that, right? But when laughing doesn't work, what does mommy need? Wine! Wine! Whatever works, right? All right, some fun ideas. Absolutely, thank you, everyone. And um, I have to say, Melissa Cole's doing the weather here tonight. She actually, thank you, Melissa, brought me a little extra tea when I started to lose my voice. Uh, but she said she wanted to let you know that she really likes to de-stress by riding her bike. And she was going to do a video, but she thought it wasn't safe to take a video while she was riding a bike. So another great idea. Uh, as Oprah taught us, when we look better, we feel better. So dressing women is one part of how we help them thrive in new careers. And we really couldn't do it without all of the generous stores like Talbot's who help us fill Dress for Success with so many new clothes to give away. Take a look. I am a survivor of domestic violence and I have my own financial challenges after leaving a marriage that was plagued by violence. My name is Sophia and I care for my community in Hartford, Connecticut. I felt that there was a need in my community that I needed to champion that cause to help women move from victim to survivor to thriver. The name of my community action project is Power Up empowering women after abuse. The goal of my community action project is to impact women's financial challenges through budgeting workshops. They learn financial literacy. They learn how to create financial goals for their families. Dress for Success has changed my life in a tremendous way because when I came to Dress for Success, I was broken. I was a single mom, recently divorced and unemployed. Knowing that Talbot's is collaborating with Dress for Success and providing us with quality clothing to go into the workplace. And I felt like that collaboration made me felt that together we achieve more and more. For any woman who are struggling, I just wish for them to find their purpose their inner peace, their joy. Talbots gave me confidence, hope, and style. Another amazing story of just so many women who have been helped by Dress for Success, and thank you to Talbots as well. Don't forget, you can help more women by bidding on our auction items. Just go to the link that's posted in the comments. It's pinned to the top. You can also visit the Dress for Success Hartford website. That's hartford.dressforsuccess.org. Make a donation tonight and help us ev help even more women. So Dress for Success Hartford has now suited, as I said, more than 8,000 women in our community. So that's thousands of women who've been changed for the better. You've heard only two of the incredible stories tonight. There are literally thousands more. And that has a ripple effect on our community, through their families, through their children, through all the thriving that they're doing. You can help more women thrive by donating tonight. $500 sends a woman to two weeks of employment readiness programs. $250 suits one woman, and only $100 sends a woman to a professional women's group meeting 
which helps our clients advance in their careers. Every dollar, no matter how many you have, gives women right here in Connecticut a second chance. So please donate tonight. Dress for Success Hartford needs your help now more than ever before. Uh, so once again, you can donate to Hartford Dress for Success by uh, going on our website. It's hartford.dressforsuccess.org. And let me just catch up here a little bit. I want to make sure that um, I bring you to our community leaders. So tonight we ask community leaders to tell us why supporting Dress for Success is so important to them. So we want to thank our top sponsor, Walmart, again. Lori Canales is a leader at Walmart in Connecticut, and she had this to say. She wanted us to let you know that helping women build the confidence to succeed in their careers and in life is at the cornerstone of Walmart's efforts in women's economic empowerment, and that Walmart and the, their foundation are committed to addressing the needs of the communities they serve and helping people to live better through philanthropic efforts. So thanks to Walmart. And Leanne Cornell, she is a leader at our, at our Empire sponsor, and that's Aspen, and she sent in this message tonight. Hi, my name is Leanne Cornell. I'm a Senior Vice President and Actuary at Aspen Insurance, working out of our Rocky Hill office. At Aspen, we believe in doing good by doing well. We are thrilled to support Dress for Success Hartford again this year. We believe the programs run by the organization enable women to gain the confidence and the knowledge they will need to enter or re-enter the Connecticut workforce. Thank you so much. And also Judith Baum Barron is the chair of the Professional Liability Underwriting Society, or PLUS, and she told me why they chose Dress for Success Hartford as their charity to donate to. Um, the foundation um, is expecting to um, contribute more than 300000 this year to various charities throughout the country um, that support women and other underrepresented communities uh, within the professional liability insurance industry. So we are honored that you are picking Dress for Success Hartford as one that is worthy. Tell me a little bit about why you're picking Dress for Success. Sure. So. Um, Again, just the, the fact that it's not only clothing for, for women who are looking for a, a new position, but it's, it's, it's all the rest of it too, the educational support, the, the mentoring, the resume support. I mean, there's, there's so many facets. So many people think, I, I, when I first heard of Dress for Success, I always thought it was mostly the clothes, but there's so much more to it than that, so much more to add um, to the whole experience to make, uh, make these women um, strong candidates for, for their next position. It's been so hard for so many people during this time um, of COVID. And I think um, in many cases, women in particular have been affected more than others, um, especially women who have families, women who have children, trying to juggle a, a job and, and childcare. And, and it's just been so hard because not all employers have been able to accommodate um, these women. Uh, and in some cases, women have had to leave the workforce. Absolutely, it's been very tough for a lot of women and Dress for Success has been there. So finally, uh, we wanna go and come to our final moment tonight uh, where we have a special surprise as we come to the end of the 16th annual Capital Catwalk. So someday we really hope to be back on stage. But for years now, you've come to see the Capital Catwalk at the Hartford stage and you've seen our friend and beloved colleague Denise DeCenzo year after year. She has been the finale of this show and she's no longer with us tonight, of course, but we would love to honor her by just showing a few of the beautiful moments, such great memories, such energy, such beauty, such style. And she was always there to share some empowering words like never give anyone the power to make you doubt yourself. We all miss Denise and her incredible sense of humor, as well as her beauty and her strength. But she left us with some great principles for a great life. Be open, be brave, and be kind. Her friends and family formed the Denise DeCenzo Foundation to donate to causes that Denise loved most, like Dress for Success Hartford. And I am so proud to sit on the board of that foundation. So, and tonight, we are proud to present 
The Denise DeCenzo Dress for Success, the Denise DeCenzo Success Award. It is the second annual, and this goes to a special woman who's making great strides in the workforce. Can I get a drum roll, please? Yes, there it is. All right, so our special honoree this year, Caroline Beltry. Congratulations, Caroline. You are getting, we are sharing your incredible journey, and tonight you are winning the Denise DeCenzo Dress for Success Award. It's $500. This is all going to go to help Caroline soar even higher. So thank you so much. We want to see everyone have some comments to congratulate Caroline below. If you can send it on up, give her some hearts, give her some emojis. $500 is going to Caroline Beltry tonight for the Denise DeCenzo Success Award. All right, so finally, as we come to the end here, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has joined this Facebook Live feed tonight. Just by being here, by commenting, by sharing, you are helping, so we appreciate it so much. But I have some special thanks, and I gotta look down so I don't miss anyone. Our producer in the booth, Andrea Almeida, thank you. Jason Bowman, our director, our technical director. Dario Minutin, thank you so much. Dario's trying to fix something right now. <laughs> And our digital team, including Caitlin Naples, Andrew Massey, our editors, Ralph Fortier, Eric Budney. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It really is a team effort and everyone behind the scenes as well. Thank you to WFSB for being our official media sponsor tonight and for supporting Dress for Success Hartford with the Capitol Catwalk for the last 16 years. And to our amazing board members, especially to our president, Dress for, uh, Debbie Wright, who is our board president, and our amazing executive director who's been commenting tonight, Sarah Avatapali, and our whole board. Thank you. It's an incredible group, and we're doing incredible things. Thanks to everyone's work. Um, if you've watched tonight, if you've commented, if you've donated, you've helped. So thank you so much. Hopefully next year we'll be back together in person. Uh, in the meantime, tomorrow I'll be joining you for Eyewitness News at noon and for Great Day Connecticut at 3 o'clock. I hope by then we're going to have some numbers to give you, and I hope they're going to continue to go up tonight. So it, please go to our website, go to the link you see in the comments, buy those auction items, make a donation tonight. Every little bit helps and thank all of you tonight. I really appreciate it. So does everyone here from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for tuning in and for helping Dress for Success Hartford. Have a wonderful evening.